Five bells. Stand by all stations. Attention. All districts. A five alarm fire. Five bells move in immediately. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Firefighters! Presenting Firefighters, the true-to-life story of our unsung heroes who stand ready to ride by day or night against our most murderous enemy, the demon of fire. In just a moment, we'll join Jimmy Collins and his friend Jack at Jack's apartment house, where they've just discovered that gasoline has been mistakenly put in the apartment house fuel tank. And if that oil burner is started up, there may be a fierce and tragic explosion. We'll find out more about it after this interesting message. Let's go, firefighters. Let's go to the apartment house where Jimmy Collins has realized that a fuel oil tank full of gasoline is endangering the lives of scores of people. Jimmy has decided that the situation demands action, despite the warning of Clyde, the gas truck driver, not to tell a soul about his mistake. Jimmy is saying to his friend Jack, I don't care what Clyde said, Jack. I think that gasoline in the furnace fuel oil tank may explode. Now, Jimmy, we told Clyde... I we... know. We told him we wouldn't mention it to anyone. But the more I think of it, especially if someone lights the oil burner, the more I think it's bad. That's why I'm heading for home on the double. Tim will know what to do. Well, what about our meeting to talk over a way to raise money for junior firefighters? Well, that can wait. This is the important thing right now. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, and Jack, yeah? Better keep a watch out for the superintendent. Tell him to be sure not to turn on the furnace. You mean boom? That's what I'm thinking. So long. Running the three blocks to the Collins' home, Jimmy rushes up the steps and bursts in the front door. Tim, Tim, where are you? In the living room. Uh, hey, that was a mighty short meeting you had with Jack. What's the big hurry? Tim, something's happened. I, I want to talk to you about it. Oh, sure, fella. What's up? The city hall on fire? Oh, don't joke, Tim. This is serious. Do you know where Jack lives? In the big apartment house over on Hill Street? Yeah. Well, there's a garage right next door. Sure, I know the place. What about it? Well, when I met Jack, there was a gasoline truck in front of the garage. Fill in the garage tank with gasoline. Well, so what, Jimmy? They do that every day or so. Only the driver wasn't putting the gas in the garage tank. Huh? By mistake, he had the hose in the pipe that leads to the apartment house fuel oil tank. Oh, good grief. Did he notice it in time to stop it? Only after Jack saw the mistake he was making and told him. About 200 gallons went into the apartment uh, tank. 200 gallons? Uh, Jimmy, is the furnace on in the apartment, do you know? Well, I don't think so. That's what I was afraid of. If it is turned on, it'll be dangerous, won't it, with all that gasoline in the tank? It's dynamite, Jimmy. You're sure it's not burning? Yeah, because we met an old Mrs. Larkin in the hall, and she was complaining because there wasn't enough heat in her apartment. Uh -huh. She was looking for the superintendent to turn the furnace on. Well, let's pray she doesn't find him. Well, Jack is back at the apartment on the lookout for the super now. I see. I told him for gosh sake not to let him start the furnace. Oh, good boy. How many people live in that building? Oh, there must be a couple hundred. It's pretty big. Well, this is a job for the fire department, Jimmy. With gasoline in that tank, the lives of those people are in serious danger. What are you going to do, Tim? Call Chief Cody. There isn't a fire yet, but there may be if they start that furnace. Uh, operator, uh, give me fire headquarters. It's an emergency. Chief Cody's office. Oh, hello, Tim. Yeah, right here. Chief, it's for you. Hello, Tim. Yeah? What's that? Apartment building on Hill. Yeah? Well, that's bad, Tim. Yes, right away. Good. Yes, I'll meet you there. Emergency on Hill Street near Maine. Some darn fool has run gasoline into the apartment house fuel oil tank. Furnace isn't operating now, but if it's lighted, there's liable to be an awful big noise in that part of town. Tell the boys to get there fast. Okay, Chief. Right away. At the apartment house, Mrs. Larkin, after looking for the superintendent and not finding him, has decided to take matters in her own hands. Unaware of the grave danger that hangs over the apartment house, 
She opens the basement door that leads down to the furnace room. That man never around when you need him. Well, he's not the only one that can run that furnace. Seen him turn it on a dozen times. And if he won't keep the place heated properly, I'll just do it myself. Now, let me see. Where is that control? Hmm, here it is. I'll just turn it this way. In a minute, I bet we'll have some heat around here. This the building, Jimmy? Yeah. See? There's the garage next door. Uh -huh. That's the pipe where Clyde put the gasoline. Oh, thank goodness the furnace wasn't on. Well, we'll go in and get a hold of the superintendent and tell him what's up. Chief Cody and the truck should be along any minute. Jack ought to be in the lobby here. Uh -huh. I told him to find the super if he could. Oh, hiya, Jimmy. I think I packed fast. Yeah, this is my brother. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Jack. Have you found the superintendent yet? No, not yet. Maybe he's gone down the street for coffee. He sometimes does. Well, we've got to find him, Jack, and warn him. I suppose you run down to where you think he might be. Tell him to get back here fast, that there's an emergency. All right. I know the drugs are where he hangs out. Good. Now, Jimmy, we've got to warn the people in the building. As long as that gas is in the tank, there's a big danger of an explosion. The safest thing to do is get them all out until the danger's over. What are you going to do, Tim? Well, there are mailboxes. There ought to be telephones to the apartment. I'm going to call the tenants. Oh, here they are, by the stairs. Good. This will be a lot faster than knocking on doors. We'll start in the second floor apartment. Hello. Uh, hello, this is the fire department. Now, don't be alarmed. An emergency exists in this building. There's no immediate danger, but for safety's sake, I'm asking all tenants to vacate immediately. Uh, madam, I'm sorry I can't take the time to explain now. Just please leave the building quietly. The fire department is arriving momentarily, and we have the situation under control. Yes, thank you. Well, here's Jack. Uh, He's got the superintendent. Good. Oh, here's Mr. Turner. Uh, hello. Well, what's up? Any trouble? Plenty of trouble, Mr. Turner. I'm Tim Collins of the fire department. Yes, Jack here told me well, what's all the fuss about. Jack was so excited. Oh, first, did. let me ask you, Mr. Turner. Your furnace isn't running, is it? Why, no. Haven't had it on all day. Weather like this, no need to. Good, good. Don't turn it on for any reason. Yeah, but wh why do you give me an order like that? I run this building. I run it right. I don't I'm not what... trying to tell you how to run your building, Mr. Turner. This is serious business. You've got a potential fire on your hands. Worse than that, an explosion. An explosion? Yes, sir. The man delivering gas to the garage next door ran a large quantity of gasoline into your fuel oil tank by mistake. The boys here saw him and reported it to me. The fire department's on his way. Gasoline in a fuel tank? Yes, sir. That's right. Dangerous. You're darn right it's dangerous. And we can be thankful these boys had the good sense to know it. Now, I'm calling the tenants and telling them to vacate the building until we can pump out the tank and fumigate. Jumping, you hus, but I'm sure glad I didn't start up that furnace this morning. Gasoline, that's bad. Now, we'll just see that nobody goes near the furnace, Mr. Turner. I'm going to call the rest of the tenants. You bet, Mr. Collins. I'll go right down now and watch it. Gosh, gasoline in the fuel tank, that's terrible. Oh, Mr. Fireman, is anything wrong? Is the place on fire? Your call scared the life out of me. Oh, no, no, no fire, madam. Just a little gasoline in the fuel oil tank. We have everything under control. Now, please, just go outside the building. Land's sake. Gasoline in the fuel oil tank? Ain't there supposed to be? <laughs> well, hardly. Now, now, don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, Mr. Collins, something terrible's happened. Uh, She's done it. That's Mrs. Larkin. Well, what is it, Mr. Turner? What's she done? Uh, Mrs. Larkin here. Uh, I met her coming out of the basement. Tell him what she done, Mrs. Larkin. Go ahead. I don't know what you're shouting so far, Mr. Turner. Downright rude, that's what it is. Well, what's the matter, Mr. Turner? What's she done? She's always hollering about heat, and when my back's turned, she goes down in the basement herself. Well, what she... is it, man? She's gone and turned on the furnace, Mr. Collins. That's what she's done and with all that gas in there, too. Mrs. Larkin, is that true? Well, I'm cold. It's always cold around this place. Not Mr. Turner cares. He wouldn't turn it on, so I did it myself. Mrs. Larkin, you've just committed an act that seriously endangers the lives of everyone in this building. There's high-octane gasoline feeding into the furnace, and there's a good chance she'll blow sky high. Here comes the fire trucks, Tim. Well, thank heavens. We really need them now. Well, poor Mrs. Larkin had no way of knowing that the fuel tank was filled with explosive gasoline when she turned on the furnace. But because of a foolish act, innocent though it was, the lives of scores of people in her apartment house are in mortal danger. Tim Collins, Chief Cody, and the fire trucks are on the scene, 
but whether they will be able to go into action in time to prevent a deadly explosion remains to be seen. Be sure to listen to our next true-to-life episode of The Firefighters. In just a moment, Chief Bob Cody will tell you, boys and girls, how you can help the firefighters in your own town. But first, here's the message you ought to hear. And now, Chief Bob Cody with a special notice for the Firefighters Brigade. Chief Cody. Hello, boys and girls. The fire prevention tip I have this time has to do with your mother and the kitchen. Grease left in the broiler pan of the oven is one of the commonest causes of kitchen fires. Now, to avoid what can be a dangerous and tragic experience, remind your mother always to keep the oven pan clean. Most mothers do, I know. But it's the rare times that grease is left in the oven that often causes costly kitchen fires. Well, that's all for now. You'll be hearing from me again soon. Fire Chief Cody and the young rookie fireman Tim Collins will be back on the same station the next time you hear... That's it. Let's go! Fighters is a copyrighted feature of William F. Holland Productions.